Cat Neville joins us from Feast Magazine, always sponsored by Jimmy's on the Park, 706 to Mun and Clayton, 725-8585. You can check out the website, jimmyscafe.com. Remember, Jimmy's is just five to ten minutes away from the Muni, the Fox Powell Symphony Hall. So how about dinner and a show? Think of Jimmy's on the Park. In De Mun. Good morning, Cat Neville. Good morning, McGraw. Let's get to your restaurants. Uh, your first new restaurant sounds like it's um, something. I mean, it sounds unbelievable. What's going on here? It's really interesting. So, um, Brian Hardesty, who is very well known for um, he and his partners, uh, Gorilla Street Food Truck, which is a Filipino food truck here in town. Previously, he was the chef at Tureen, um, which was very well loved restaurant right. in the Central West End. Yeah. He's an extremely talented chef, and uh, he has opened up this new restaurant in the City Hospital. The kind of I think technically it's Lafayette Square, but okay. maybe it's sandwiched between. It's like sandwiched between Soulard and Lafayette Square. Right. Yeah. Um. So it's in the power plant section of um so of the City Hospital. So it's behind City Hospital. Exactly. Okay. And what it's called Element is the name of the restaurant, and it's on the second floor. It's gorgeous. I'll tell you about the design in a little bit. But the concept is so interesting to me. There are five chefs in the kitchen. He is the executive chef, and then he has four other guys in there working with him. Uh, Jared Schulten, Chris DiMercurio, Michael Foley, and Sam Butler. And the five of them collaborate on each dish. So each chef has their own dishes on the menu, but then the idea is that they will work together to constantly challenge each other to improve the dishes, to push the boundaries. Um, and and what's interesting to me is that the menu is actually very well edited. It's not a hu- this humongous menu where right. each chef has 10 different dishes because they all want their own perspective um, to shine. And it's not listed which chef does which on the menu. It's a, it's really interesting. I thought too many chefs spoil the brew. I know. And so I talked to Brian about that. I was like, how are you guys doing this? Because, I mean, you know, obviously being a chef is a very creative endeavor and you want your perspective to be out there and you want to be able to connect with people in that way. And he said that it's really exciting because it's this collaborative, creative um, thing. And he said that they're really kind of feeding, quote unquote, off of each other to create these dishes and that the goal is to um, is to just elevate the food and push the food and focus on, um, obviously, a lot of local ingredients that are sourced from um, local producers. And so their menu is going to change all the time. Um, and, and I was really impressed with not only this very kind of co- collaborative spirit in the kitchen, but also what was coming out is really, uh, they're using interesting things like there's this goat dish. There are a couple of different goat dishes on the menu, which is kind of a, a trendy protein that you saw kind of popping up here and there a few years ago, but now you're really seeing it more often on menus. And they have two different goat uh, dishes. One is a on the small plate menu. It's a goat uh, shoulder with egg, chilies, green onion, but it's the one on so the— So it's goat meat? Yes, All right. goat meat, which is very mild in flavor. And if you—and I want to say if you like lamb, but lamb actually has kind of a stronger flavor to me. Hmm. Uh, it can have a stronger flavor than goat. Goat is a really interesting uh, protein— and a lot of other cultures uh, can, you know, eat goat uh, quite a bit. We typically have not been eating it, but you're really seeing it more and more. Um, and the on the large plate section, there is a goat. And when I had it, they didn't have the goat loin. They had it as the shoulder, and I preferred the shoulder on it. And it was this, um, <clears throat> it had harissa and, egg, and an eggplant puree, excuse me, with olives and orange. It was this really kind of lovely nod to um, Indian Middle Eastern food and it was a it was a really wonderful way to spotlight that flavor and texture of the goat um, on the small plate menu there was also a fresh chickpea salad that um, you know so like you have canned chickpeas and they're kind of brown a little bit mushy these are bright green fresh chickpeas it was lovely and it had um, a little bit of anchovy and then a sweet pancetta, like that sweet salty pancetta, um, and some green beans and some uh, some mint and different kinds of herbs. So they're um, they're using a lot of different uh, kind of lead ingredients. So everything is like scallops, lobster, ham, sweetbreads, uh, beef cheeks, uh, chickpeas, tomato, goat shoulder, and carrot. That's how you kind of read that small plate menu. And so you kind of pick that central flavor that you're interested in. They kind of build on that. It's very cool. So it's called the Element. Yeah, just Element. Element. And Mm -hmm. it's uh, right behind the old city museum, which is now (laughs) a city hospital, which is now a uh, 
condo slash yes. whatever it is. It's okay. a beautiful building. And I also want to mention it's two different stories. It's very attractive the way that it's built out. But when you walk in, you walk past um, a rock climbing, a wall climbing um, studio and it has like this big window. So you walk past all the people that are scaling the walls right. and they do serve lunch and they have a massive, gorgeous lounge on the top floor that uh, has a big open terrace so you can overlook the city. It's very cool. All right, cool. Uh, you've also noticed that uh, the breweries here in yes. town are expanding exponentially. They are. It's um, it's 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 really exciting to see. Not only is the craft brewing industry growing because there are a lot of new players. We talked about like Alpha Brewing and things like that. Right. But some of the guys that have been around for a few years are now um, really announcing big exp- expansion plans. Schlafly is looking for a massive new, I think, forty acre plot of land in North City, North County. They haven't identified that yet because they're completely tapped out at their bottle works. Right. Um, <clears throat> Urban Chestnut is in the process of building a new, totally LEED-certified um, brewing facility that they're going to be offering um, also a restaurant, and that's going to be in Manchester. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then um, Four Hands, just a couple of days ago, announced that they also, uh, they're located in LaSalle Park, they also are going to be expanding. Um, they are going to be increasing their capacity to 13,000 barrels. They're only two years old. Wow. And um, they're also uh, going to be bringing in two new 60-barrel tanks. And they've also, uh, they're going to begin offering um, 12-ounce four-packs with their core series. And What's then the name of that brewery? Four Hands, with the numeral four. four. Okay. So Four Hands Brewing. Right. And uh, uh, Kevin Lemp is the guy behind this brewery. I think we've had brewery. them on the show. I think we've had them on the show. When their they came beer up. is amazing. Yeah. And they're doing some really just creative stuff. They're, um, they're going to be also offering a number of new seasonal offerings, which is what is so fun about the craft brews, is right. that they have their core um, that they offer, which is kind of like really speaks to this is our perspective. This right. is our signature beer. But then what's exciting is that these craft brewers are – are experimenting and playing. And so the the Morning Glory is what Four Hands is going to be releasing um, September through November. And it is actually going to be a, 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 an ale brewed with sweet potatoes, allspice, nutmeg, whole <laughs> vanilla beans, and it's going to be aged on a whiskey-soaked wood spiral. So just imagine how perfect for there's, there's a burst there's a burst of fruit flavor in there. <laughs> well, think about it. Like, I mean, pumpkin beer uh, was right. introduced, you know, what, maybe a decade ago? And at the time, that seemed to be Crazy. like a chick beer right, and all, right, right. like all the guys were like, I don't know. I don't know if I think I really want that. But what's happened is that people have realized that all of these flavors really complement what is going on in beer. Kind of those either malty flavors or kind of the citrus flavors that you get from the hops. Um, the bitterness can really play off of some of those um, kind of sweet potato flavors. Right. And it's it's exciting to see that, that people are being so creative. All great to see. Short on time because we're saving time for James Kahn. Yes. So you're being bumped for James Kahn. <laughs> I got 30 seconds. What's going on with Feast Magazine? Uh, well, the new issue comes out at the end of this this month and I actually got to write a feature this month it was um, I took a three-day fishing trip to Florida with Kevin Wilman from Farmhouse uh-huh. and so what's interesting is again we we consume all this food and we're all we talk about restaurants we get all excited about them but um, so much of what you see on a plate is is this artistic and creative expression of the chef and so what you see at farmhouse really is this great melding of his experience growing up on farms in southern illinois and then his many many years uh fishing in florida so we're going to take you on that journey at feast magazine uh newsstands everywhere you can get it delivered right to your front doorstep if you subscribe to the sunday st louis post dispatch and then so subscribe to feast and you can get a deal if you go to stltoday.com and get the McGraw special for your subscription. Yes. All right, good. Uh, Element, next, right behind uh, City Hospital and Four Hands Brewery. Look for Urban Chestnut, Schlafly, and all that. Mm-hmm. Have a good week. Thank you. Pat Neville, Big 550.